Lesson 55, the triangle mid-segment theorem. Okay, so if you have a triangle, A, B, C, and if you have a parallel, whoops, side drawn, Okay, so if you have <coughs> a segment drawn through um, a triangle that is parallel to the third side, then, so wait, if DE is parallel to AB, then um, DE will equal one half of the length of AB. And However, these have to be the midpoints. Okay. So they're parallel and E is the midpoint of CB and D is the midpoint of AC. So if the midpoints are being connected and it's parallel to the third side, then this segment will be half of that segment. Um, there is a second theorem that says if, let's see, if this is all you know about your triangle, that you have a line drawn parallel to the third and these two sides are congruent, then <coughs> wait, what? If a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and it contains the midpoint of another side, so since these two are congruent, this will be the midpoint. Um, if it's parallel to the third side, contains the midpoint, then it contains the midpoint of the third side. So it goes like this. If TU, segment TU is parallel to segment XY and point T is the midpoint of XZ, then you will be the midpoint of CY. Hmm? You will be. No, me. No, I will be. No use. Okay. So if we have, let's see. I'm not going to do that example. It's way too easy. Okay. If you have a um, this kind of a figure, the two triangles will be similar. by the AA similarity postulate. Okay, we get to draw a mid-segment triangle. Super awesome. So we have triangle ABC and then midpoints D, E, F. And we 
and draw a triangle using those midpoints. That's called the mid-segment triangle. So points D, E, and F are midpoints of their respective sides. So triangle D, E, F is a mid-segment triangle. So all of these five triangles will be similar. So triangle ABC will be similar to triangle EFD, similar to triangle ADF, similar to triangle DBE, similar to triangle FED, FED. <coughs> That's the end of the lesson.